Okay, hi guys. Um, today we're going to talk about equilibrium and concentration. Um, so basically using rice tables to find um, concentrations when you're at equilibrium. Um, so like I said, we're going to use rice tables, which stand for your reaction, your initial conditions, the change, and then your equilibrium concentration. Um, so we're going to look at a general equation. Um, we've seen it before. It's just A uh, amount of A plus B goes to C and D. Um, and we're going to be given a condition that to reach um, equilibrium, A changes X amount. And then we're going to fill in the table accordingly. So, um, and we're also told that everything starts at one molar concentration. So, the concentration of A, B, C, and D all individually are at one molar. So we're going to go ahead and fill that in. And again, this is just based off a made up uh, reaction. So it's going to change based off the conditions of the problem you're given. And then we're, since we're told that A changes X, we know that this is going to decrease. And so if A decreases by X, then B is also going to decrease by a factor of X, but it's going to be different based on its coefficient. So B is going to decrease by negative BX. And then subsequently, C and D are going to increase by a factor of X depending on their coefficients. So C is going to increase by plus CX, and D by plus little dx. So now when we go to equilibrium, we simply add these two rows. So we'll get 1 minus x, 1 minus bx, 1 plus cx, and 1 plus dx. So now we know the concentrations of all the different reactants and products. Uh, the only problem is that we only know them in terms of X. We don't actually know how much um, the concentration for each um, species is changing. So what we do is we go over here and we write our equilibrium um, constant. <laughs> um, so we'll write case of C equals its products over reactants. So concentration of C raised to its exponent D to D so now we'll fill in so we'll get plugging here we get 1 plus CX to the power of little c times 1 plus DX to the power of little d over 1 minus x to the power of little a times 1 minus bx to the power of little b. E. So since we've been given a situation where we don't actually know the coefficients, this system is going to be rather difficult to solve. So we're not going to do that in this video, but what you do next is you plug in your coefficients and hopefully they'd simplify um, so you just end up getting like 1 plus x squared on the top or something like that. And then since you'd be given k of c, k sub c in the problem as well, so then you'd simply be able to solve for x from here. So x equals some constant, we'll say g. And you'll just plug this in and you'll be able to solve for all the concentrations of every species in your equation. Um, so hopefully that puts it in terms that you can apply to any problem you might come up with. Um, something else that might happen is you're given all your concentrations and you're asked to find um, equilibrium constant. Um, that's just another way that you could be presented with a problem. So hopefully that makes sense and good luck.